Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see here, we got the anhydrous bar going. We're going about eight miles an hour. And uh, we're putting about 160 pounds an acre on there. And uh, most of this field's done. I'm just working my way down to that little draw there and this field's done. And we'll be over there across that alfalfa field over there. So, uh, yeah, that's about all that's going on here. Got the nitro alert going. So, enjoy the video. Alright guys, so here as you can see we got the percentage of the tank, or at least it's somewhat close. Uh, right now it's showing 21%. And uh, I don't know if we're going to get done with this field or not with this tank. We'll probably have to switch out a tank and go get a new one. And we'll probably just have to carry it over there, but uh, that's no problem really. And the nitro alert here is showing there's something wrong with row number two. But I've just proved it wrong because whenever you pick up and turn around, you can watch and the access nitrogen will roll out of the row. And whenever nitrogen meets air, it just turns into smoke and you can see the smoke rolling out of there. And I watched smoke roll out of row number two there. So I know there's fertilizer coming out of it. So the nitro alert's lying. See right there, I don't know if you guys can see that, but where I lift it up, you can see the smoke kind of rolling out of the some of them rows there. That's just because the row units were in the process of picking up and it wasn't like getting the fertilizer completely in the ground because I was picking them up. Another thing about this anhydrous is that it smell the, if you guys know anything about this stuff, the smell is really intense and it'll really clear clear your sinuses out because the smell, it doesn't matter. You can be in the tractor cab, you can be wearing a mask and the smell is still gonna get to you. And it's just, it really hits you because it makes your eyes burn whenever you get a good whiff of it, especially if you don't, especially if you're facing the wrong way in the wind. Uh, I'll show you guys whenever we go get a new tank how important it is to be facing in the right way for the wind because you got to open a little valve to bleed the line out that way whenever you unscrew the line it just doesn't blow off and smack you in the face and knock you out so i'll explain more here in just a little bit but overall this stuff smells it well it really doesn't smell good or bad but it's not really good for you to breathe in but basically overall is do your best to keep it from getting to you but it's most definitely going to get to you because whenever you, you turn around in the tractor the tractor obviously sucks some of that up giving like through the air conditioning and stuff so it's really kind of unpreventable because it's it's going to get to you I'm also really surprised how good this is working because as you all know Nebraska went through a big drought this summer and we got granted we got a little bit of rain a few days ago like 80 hundreds or something but this ground is nice and black where the knives are going and the knives are going through the ground nicely and it's not causing hardly any pressure on the machine and i'm just really surprised that the ground is working this well since it has had no water in a very long time except for a few days ago but yeah i mean the ground's just nice and black it's not hard i don't yeah i'm just really surprised all right this henniker is still showing that there's something wrong with row number two but i'm about to prove that there's nothing wrong with it because when i pick up there's gonna be a hell of a lot of smoke rolling out of there just like now as you can see that down there I don't know why it's doing that but sometimes this thing is really sensitive and all you gotta do is go back there and wiggle the hose a little bit and it'll quit beeping but I don't know sometimes it's worth it because we've caught a few errors with the machine with it because I mean it just raises absolute hell and just starts beeping at you but then it'll just sit there and complain about one row and there's nothing wrong with it just like number two but I don't know. I kind of think this thing's overrated, but it is what it is, I guess. All right, guys, so as you can see here, that is red now, and it's reading 9% from my tank. 
but I'm gonna make a few few shorter passes here just to really get the tank good and empty and you'll know when I'm really starting to get low because the numbers will start changing here like they just did there and uh, yeah all right guys we're ahead and uh, get a new tank there on top of the hill uh, my numbers are really starting to flicker down there because obviously the tank is running out so that monitor is gonna read that I'm not putting out a steady flow of 160 pounds so that means I'm empty obviously so we're gonna run up here and grab a new one and then I'm gonna ramble on about some more safety rules with this stuff and right now my eyes are watering really bad because the tractor cab is filled with the smell of this stuff and we just started so I'm not used to it but as we progress with uh, fertilizing I'll slowly get used to it so I don't get bothered near as much by it but right now it's really starting to get to me well look at that the hired help is coming also known as my dad all right guys I'm gonna look like an absolute goon right now but I promise wearing these goggles is gonna be way better and taking a shot of this stuff to the face so we're gonna head out here and change the tanks all right the wind's blowing from the uh, south just a little bit so we're gonna make sure we're on the south side that way the smoke's blowing that way refill back to 100 I wrote down the number of the tank and now we're off again it's quite a process trying to hook it up especially when your dad and your uncle start talking about different stuff while we're trying to hook up but we got the new tank and we're ready to go again we basically got this field split into two back there now all we got is this little back triangle here which won't take too long and that little front triangle up there and this field will be done all right guys we got this little triangle back here all done so now we're gonna head up here to this uh, little triangle at the front here and we'll be headed that direction
guys we got that all finished up but I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna write down some fuel totals and stuff on that notepad then we're heading over there you can see dad there with another tank in his pickup so let's get to it all right guys we're here in this other field going so you can see I'm going along the edge here I'm doing my best to one hand steer here and record at the same time but uh, I got the monitor and everything all set up so now we're just gonna make a few rounds around here and rumor has it rain's gonna set in so it might get rained out but I don't know for sure so I guess time will tell but uh, until then we're just gonna keep on trucking all right guys it's pretty much almost dark outside but we've had some technical difficulties with this set of tank here with these sets of with this set of tanks here uh, I guess we can only suck nitrogen out of the left tank the right one I don't know I don't know why but we're on top of this little hill here and everything else down there is all terraces and stuff and below here and stuff so yeah I also scared a really nice buck out of there all right guys well I think that's gonna be it for tonight I'm empty with this tank now and uh, I think I'm getting a flat tire over here on this wing but I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's getting a little squishy compared to that one over there. But uh, it's only 6.30, but time change has it gone dark now, way built way before it was earlier. It was getting dark at, at like 9 o'clock, so. But uh, yeah, uh, I think that's going to be it for this video as well, because I'm just heading up here to unhook and I got to go to an FFA meeting anyway, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.